The CDC continues to investigate whether limb weakness and paralysis in nine Colorado children could be related to the enterovirus outbreak. Nine families in Denver have reported that condition. Russell Haythorn following these developments. Russell, it's not clear yet if the virus and the paralysis symptoms are related. True, Teresa, but all of the children reporting paralysis complications say that they had respiratory illnesses beforehand. That's a concerning development for this hospital and others. The road to recovery. I was scared. Has been a long and windy one for 13 year old Simon Johnson. When I was going to urgent care, I was scared because I could feel myself not being able to stay awake. He's been battling in Taro 68 for weeks, only returning to school a few days ago. I couldn't move my legs. I, um, my uh, muscles in my arms could barely lift the weight of my hand. And that's the symptom doctors are now most concerned about. The CDC is investigating whether enterovirus and entero 68 are causing limb weakness and paralysis in some children. At Children's Hospital, doctors say parents should remain ultra aware of respiratory illnesses and get help if concerned. It's really important for parents not to panic to do what they can for their children when they feel like they have an illness that they don't know what's going on. Whether the paralysis is permanent is still unclear. Simon's mom, Deborah, credits doctors at Rocky Mountain Hospital for Children for saving his life. She says parents should watch for signs. He was sort of a bluish gray color. I knew I was going to make it, but I was scared. Fortunately for Simon, his limb weaknesses were only temporary. All of the children involved in these cases range in age from 1 to 18 years old. Again, there are nine cases in total. The CDC says it's a spectrum of leg and arm weaknesses ranging from mild to severe. Live at Rocky Mountain Hospital for Children, Russell Haythorn, 7 News.